Hi, and welcome to Clarity Working with the Financials Module video. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity. While project managers have a difficult job, financial managers are also critical for the success of the project. They collaborate with project managers and are responsible for budgeting, projecting cash flows, and determining how to finance investments. Let's explore the project and see how you can use the financials module to create a cost plan, submit a budget, and keep track of costs through the life cycle of the project. Let us log into Clarity, open projects, and navigate to the staff module to view all the resources allocated to it. Next, let's view the tasks added to this investment. The project manager has already assigned tasks to resources. We can now create a cost plan for this investment. Cost plans are an alternative to financial summaries, and cost plans allow you to project the estimated cost for the project. Let's create a new cost plan. Let's enter relevant details, such as name and ID. The management team often needs a breakdown of costs based on the individual resources working on the project. Hence, we can select the Resource Attribute in the Grouping Attributes section. Because the project manager has already allocated tasks to various resources, you can use the Populate from Assignments option to automatically populate the cost plan. This feature is extremely valuable to project and financial managers. They typically use many desperate tools and spend hours poring over spreadsheets to create cost plans. You can see that within seconds we can see the total spent for an investment and view the spend on each resource. Remember that you can manually edit the cost plan if you need to. When you are ready, you can submit this cost plan for approval. Because this is the only cost plan associated with the project, it is automatically designated as the plan of record. However, if you had multiple cost plans for a project, you will need to choose one of them as the plan of record. Many financial managers submit a plan only for the first couple of months. They know that projects in their organization are dynamic. They plan to track the spend on the project for the first two months and then submit the budget for future months. The relevant stakeholders can approve the budget for this project. Let's navigate to the Financials module and access the budget plan. You can approve the budget plan directly from this page. Let's review the budget details before approving the plan. You now have an approved budget for the investment. The team has started working on the project and are submitting timesheets to record their work. A couple of months pass by and you want to check the overall health of the investment. This will help you submit an accurate budget for the next couple of months. You can check with the project manager to ensure they have approved all the timesheets submitted by the team. You can then request the administrator to run three jobs to update the financial status of the project. You can learn more about these jobs by reviewing the Jobs Reference section of the Clarity documentation. Let's review the financial health of the project two months after it started. Let's explore the detailed financials associated with the project. Let's select the Cost, Actual Cost, and Cost Variance from the View options. Now you can copy this cost plan and create a cost plan for the next couple of months. The Scale By field determines the percentage by which to scale, either increasing or decreasing, the dollar values copied to the plan. Let's set it to 5. Here's the new cost plan with a 5% increase in values.
Let's make this cost plan as a plan of record. Now you can send this plan for approval by merging the earlier cost plan. Merging this plan with the budget that has already been approved for the first two months allows you to create a final budget for the project. I'm sure you now understand how you can use the Clarity Financials feature to keep track of your projects in the organization. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.